The poodle breed is very sweet-natured and highly intelligent, making them one of the easiest breeds to train. The crate training process will be a similar process to training any canine breed. You will want to begin when a puppy to establish good habits early on and purchase a crate that is large enough for them to stand up comfortably. Before I move on with the video, I want to ask you a simple question. Do you want to train your dog for any basic commands like sit and stay? Do you want to stop any of the behavioral problems of your dog like pooping inside the house, biting, jumping, or barking? If your answer is yes, please grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him or her. This secret training technique ebook is available for free only for a limited time. So go and grab it before it's too late. Link to the free ebook and training videos is in the description below. How to crate train standard, miniature, and toy poodles. How to crate train poodle puppies. 1. Introduce them to the crate and use plenty of positive reinforcement. Positive reinforcement will be your greatest ally in the crate training method. It allows your puppy to feel safe. If they don't feel welcome, it will be hard to get them to go into the crate willingly. 2. Set some treats or toys in the crate and have it decked out with blankets and other comforting items. Don't ever force your dog to go in, allow them to sniff around the area and decide for themselves. 3. Start feeding them meals in the crate, making this a safe spot where they can let their guard down. Always keep water in the crate and make it a nice place to rest. 4. Take your puppy out every two hours and always take them directly outside after they come out of their crate. 5. Make sure that while crate training, especially in the early stages, when the crate door is opened, you bring your poodle pup directly outside. This is an essential aspect of the process, so don't open their door unless you are ready to take them out. They need to understand that when it's bathroom time, they go straight outside. 6. Make sure that they are getting a balance of play and bonding time but are still going out every two hours or so, then directly back to their crate. For the most part, this is what the first month or two will run until you can trust them to tell you when they need to go out by going directly to the door. 7. By the six-month mark, your puppy will be able to hold their bladder for around four to six hours, but you should never make a dog hold their bowels and bladder for over eight hours. How long should crate training take? There is no exact timeline for how long this process will take because all dogs are different, but it should last around 4 to 16 weeks for most dogs. You could see drastic results in the first week and be able to offer your poodle more playtime, but you should remain diligent no matter how fast your pup catches on. Don't give up in the first week because you think your puppy is a prodigy, or they will revert to potty accidents and bad habits. By the third month, they should be taking you to the door or pawing at it when they have to go. The goal of crate training is that they will be able to communicate to you when they need to go in the future. Pay attention to your own dog's progress and determine how much more regimented their training needs to be. If they are showing significant progress, reward them with more freedom but continue taking them out at the same time while heading directly to the door each time. How to encourage your poodle to use a crate? 1. Don't yell at them, spank them, or punish them for accidents. This will only make them fear the crate and you, making the process take significantly longer or not work at all. 2. Make it cozy and safe. 3. Make mealtime designated to the crate. 4. Leave treats in the crate when they successfully hold it for a potty break. 5. Slowly add to the amount of time they must hold it. Some go by the method of the month to hour ratio for potty breaks. 6. Develop a term you say excitedly to invite them to go back to their crate. Something like, kennel time, or, hop in your crate. Something that they hear every time and will associate with the crate to excitedly follow your cue and hop in there. Mistakes to avoid when crate training your poodle. 1. Don't make the crate a frightening place. 
make the crate a cozy spot for your dog to retreat to. If it feels like the crate is a punishment, you could psychologically torment your dog by making them go in a place you're forcing them to go. Make the crate feel like a spa, and don't allow your dog to fear the crate. 2. Don't forget to take them out every 2 hours. Puppies under 6 months of age have incredibly small bladders. You will need to take them out often to avoid them sitting in their waist. You may consider taking them out every hour, but you must take them out at least every 2 hours. Do not confuse crate training with locking them up all day because they will need many potty and social breaks. 3. Don't overlook adult dogs. If you are training a mature dog, it will be harder to teach an old dog new tricks, but not impossible. Keep in mind that their bladders might be larger, and they can hold it for longer, but not more than 4 to 6 hours. You may have to reprogram their brain that they need to hold it unless they are outside. 4. Don't avoid playing with your pup. This is still your bonding period with the puppy, and you need to socialize your puppy, as well. They want to be creating a relationship with you and the world. If they are not getting time to play and enjoy human interaction, your poodle can quickly become depressed or develop anxiety. Make sure that their entire life isn't the crate, or you will have a very socially intimidated and shy poodle on your hands. Crate training your poodle, behavioral problems and solutions. Your dog will sometimes cry during the early stages of their crate training. Don't allow this to discourage you or throw off the routine you have been working to maintain. Some common behavioral issues of the poodle breed to be aware of are barking at all hours of the night, digging holes in the yard or your carpet, chewing on furniture or shoes, jumping the fence when let outside, stealing human food, hand chewing or biting and potty accidents. Many of these behaviors are triggered by a bored poodle that is not getting enough socialization, exercise, or bonding time. Diminish these bad habits by increase their outdoor time. Increase the exercise or work they are doing during that outdoor time. Play more games with them. Provide toys that are mentally stimulating they may be teething and need special puppy chew toys and teach them more tricks and take opportunities to train them. Your poodle is very intelligent and loves to be trained. If they are acting out, it's probably because they are not having their needs met. Give them more brain activity and tasks to accomplish, like training, and the happier your poodle will be. Dogs like to feel a sense of purpose, just like humans. Show them more attention, and most of these bad habits will cease. Without adequate care, your poodle will become depressed, antisocial, anxious, or downright badly behaved. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the channel, Little Paws Training, if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.